everyone, and welcome to the fourth episode of this series. In this episode, we're going to continue on what we did last episode, and maybe progress a little bit more. Anyways, I'm just having my sim set up to do deal with the day. That sometimes happens with the game, that the house would disappear for like a few seconds while in town mode. I guess I was having her do something else. Because I wanted to do other things, I guess. And it looks like I'm trying to ro have Dorothy romance the firefighter Adam, I believe his name is. Because their friendship is high enough. They're just getting set up for what they need to be doing. Dorothy will be needing to pop out a kid pretty soon. I'm trying to get their relation, these guys. It, relationship a bit better here. I put Dor took had Dorothy go back to the library because it would just be easier and I was trying to build up a relationship with Adam and wait, was waiting for a while I do need to have her take care of her needs still And Adam got stuck over there, so I had to reset him. And I was work having her work on her op an opportunity that she needed to do. She's finished with that, and now she's gonna do that. Dorothy's set up to do what she needs to be doing. And I'm sending them both to bed now. I think Dorothy was almost there to get that hidden trait. I'm just kind of having them get set up for after work a little bit. She's just going to work just now. At some point, I need um, Dorothy to bring over her co-workers to have her meet 
the main sim here. The game likes to give me names that are seem to be very difficult for me to pronounce. But at least that's better than the few names that I would use. Dorothy is set up to get ready to go do things that she needs to do. She's done, and I'm just having her meet up with people. Because she can't progress if she can't get her charisma up. Up. That's a lot of butterflies over there. Though, I, when I was a lot younger, this is from my childhood, there was one year there were ladybugs everywhere. And I literally mean everywhere. I never seen so many ladybugs before that. Though the year before that we had a bunch of toads hanging around. But not was to the level of the ladybugs. And it looks like I was doing some updating to the house. And I wasn't exactly sure what I was exactly doing yet in the back. I was thinking of expanding it more at this point. Also I was getting stuff for having children here because I'm planning on having Dorothy have a kid pretty soon and no matter what gender the kid is it's going to be named Mayo. Anyways, I'm trying to get their relationship up. I'm not going to have Adam move in. Because I don't need another mouth to feed. Also, because of the... I am planning to have the main one have two, at least two kids and a husband or wife. That I don't need the household to be overly full. And there was a little bit of issue that she, she couldn't get to bed so I had to move the bike. And there was also something in the inventory. At this point, for some reason, I got a little bit of a wild hair and I just wanted to redecorate the house a little bit. And expand a little bit. If I can afford to. There we go, the porch is a bit bigger. I couldn't afford the other side yet. Because my sim still has to pay bills and stuff. And probably after this episode, I will um, be adding, definitely adding more lots to the, a lot more help, a few more houses. And that happens once in a while when you build. I am going to fence in the house eventually, but I'm probably going to rebuild the do something about the house first before I fence the yard in. 
because I'm not sure about what I'm going to do, expand the house or completely redo the house. Because at some point I will have to. Because there's only three bedrooms and there's going to be a lot of people. And one bathroom. They need another bathroom, definitely. have her have a little fun in the theater with Adam if you get my drift there we go and a driveway even though they don't even have a car She's done for whatever she's doing, but she has an opportunity that she needs to be working on. And Dorothy, let's have fun in the feather. I was just kind of checking out some stuff here again. I do like checking out the family trees a little bit. And kind of keeping her busy. She's up to whatever she needs to be doing, and they're going to go have fun in the theater here. And yes, I was trying to get her pregnant at this point, so I had her do it several times, just to make sure. Sometimes the uh, baby noises don't cut, um, the baby chime doesn't happen sometimes so with the Enros mod I can check if she is pregnant and she's pregnant Dorothy Kit child is going to be older than the one that we started out with, um, children. But that'll be okay. At least I have someone to play with. Another indication if Dorf if she's pregnant is the nauseated without cause moodlet we are not friends with Wharton anymore we are distant friends now In the 
meanwhile, let's have you meet up with some people. You take care of yourself. That random pop up again. I'm just mostly just meeting people, so I'll make friends with later. I did check if I didn't have that um, butterfly yet, and I didn't, so I'm going to have her catch it before it dis despawns at a certain time. I'm just going back and forth between the two characters just to kind of keep them busy. Since Dorothy's going to be um, showing pretty soon and won't be going to work for a few days, I'm just going to have her work out. At this point, Dorothy is sh showing now, indicating that she is pregnant. And Dorothy needed a better bed, so I gave her a better bed. I'll probably save that old bed for now. I'll just stick it up there just to get it out of the way. She's on maternity leave, so she won't be going to work for a while. Which, at this point, I'll be taking advantage of getting, having her work on skills that she needs and making friends. working on trying to work on their lifetime wish but if I succeed I succeed if I don't I don't I was trying to make a basement here for right now the sims don't have enough money to do anything with the house so there's not much I can do about the looks of the house and I also gotta make sure she has enough to pay the bills are pretty good right now it looks like I was trying to make a stairway to the basement but I was having some issues here it was a glitch or something and I decided just to give the house some little bit of looking nice here.
the blinds, um, even though it wouldn't work the way I would about to say in the game with seasons, but you can use the blinds to help with controlling temperature. At least with some type of houses. And certain, like, curtains, too. Since the basement idea wasn't working out, I, um, went a different direction with it. I did want a basement in this house, if I could. She's set up for um, stuff that she needs to be doing for the day. It's because I keep going into build mode, this episode is going to be a bit longer. trying to have them do many of the opportunities that they can get that I can I know that they can complete quickly enough and I need her to talk to her boyfriend just to keep their relationship up should hire a maid at some point. It would keep the newspapers down a bit. I was having them take care of their needs at a certain point. That at least they're set up for that. Also keeping their sleep cycle um, a bit better too. And Dorothy gone to labor and having her go home. Boy or girl, her name, their name's gonna be Mayo. And it was a girl. No, it was a boy. I guess I named the kid Jose. I guess I really wanted Mayo to be a girl. And one of the Sims are supposed to age up right now. And it looks like to be her. And I put Jose in the crib and I'm gonna have Dorothy make another kid. I guess I really wanted Mayo to be a girl a girl's name. Even though it's a condiment. But Jose is a cute kid, little baby. Anyways, having her have two kids would be nice, too. I was checking out what Jose likes. Also, making her, him have a relationship with the main Sim here. 
to help out Dorothy a little bit. And I'm having them have another child and since she's going to be home for the day, she can watch Jose um, while they're having their little bit of fun. Which I would guess that she wouldn't mind too much. set up to doing what they need to be doing. Unfortunately, because Generation is the uh, one that does the woohoo sh in the shower, they're gonna woohoo in the main Sims bed. Because you can't do it in the single bed. that gross so I think I'll have them do it in the theater instead and hopefully um, he didn't get stuck again there he goes and let's have um have a little fun in the theater and make Jose a little brother or sister. And they had a wonderful date, it looks like. And I believe she's pregnant again. That's good, because I'm trying to keep their ages close together. Though having the ages a bit apart does help to concentrate on the one sim till they're dubbed but to a certain point. And I was keeping an eye on what they need right now. She finally had enough to get that one reward so I gave it to her. Because that was one of my goals, is to get that. Because that would help with the charisma skill a lot. Though the attractive one would help more. But I do want them to work to for it. In their life. Anyways. At this point, the episode is about to end. And looks like I'm just going to put a bunch of graves down somewhere. Just to keep it down a little bit. I just end up putting the graves everywhere. And now I'm resetting the town. But sometimes if you do that, it does drop some of the opportunities. Some of them. Not all of them. I guess
guess I was away from my computer for like a few minutes because we're still looking at that. And now we're saving. Because of my uh, way I save the game, I uh, will rename it sometimes. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!